Hey everyone, Andre Pickens here. Just wanted to go ahead and do another video for you guys. I've been getting this question quite a bit lately, so I figured I might as well just do a video on it. Uh, it's about how to add RSS feeds to your blog, your website, or what have you. Um, this is more pertaining to WordPress blogs, so uh, if you have a WordPress blog, this will be of immense help to you. I cannot really help you with Blogger because I don't use it. But WordPress blogs, here you go. All right. It, the plugin that you're looking for is called WP Dash Feed Burner. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to Add New New Plugin under your Plugin section, and then I'm going to add. I'm going to press Feed Burner. It's already there, but I'm going to hit Search. All right. So now. You see the feed WP feed burner right here. You see that? Okay. Now, you install it. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to reinstall it. Okay. And then I'm going to go. Now you go back to install. It's going to go take you all the way back to installed. All right. So there you go. As you can see, it is there. Make sure that it's activated. Now, uh, we're going to come over here in a minute. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys to the website in which you can actually catch uh, the feed burner, uh, where you can actually get your feed burner URL. Because you're going to need that. Actually, I'll show this to you now. See, feed burner. This is WP feed burner. All right, and this is going to ask for your feed burner ID. You need to get one. So I'm going to actually show you guys how to do that. A lot of people get confused here. So hang on tight, and I'll get to you in a sec. All right, we're here at the feed burner site. I want to go ahead and tell you what you guys the, the URL is. Some people have a hard time finding it. It's because they actually changed their original address. It is feedburner.google dot com feedburner f e e d b u r n e r dot google dot com all right so what you do basically is you come here and you burn your feed so you just put your uh, your name in there you put your website name in there so we're going to say that your website name is uh joe blow whatever okay joe blow dot com that's your website name that's your blog address and you want to burn your feed on there, you want your feed burner so you can put it on your blog. Okay? Whatever. Then you hit next and you just follow the on screen instructions to getting you know getting your feed your feed address. Now your feed address um we're gonna say uh, your feed address is gonna be your website name, the name that you gave your that it comes up with your website. So after you've registered it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your blog and you're gonna put it in your feed burner. Uh, your feed burner plugin section. So one second, I'm gonna take you guys back. All right, we're back now at the blog, and as you can see here, where it says enter your feed burner ID under your settings, uh, the WP feed burner plugin settings right here. It's gonna ask for your feed burner ID. Make sure that you did exactly what I told you, and go to the feed burner site to do that and then to get your feed burner ID and then put it here hit save settings okay so the settings are now saved that's excellent and then that's it that's what you do for your feed burner uh, for your RSS feed so um, I think I'll do a video on how to get it to show up on your blog. Some blogs will show it automatically, it depends on your template, but that's how you get the feed initiated in your blog. Okay? So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask me. Uh, check out my blog for blogging information along with other information as well. My blog is AndreJPickens.com. You'll find it on the, the side of this video. And I look forward to doing more of these with, for you guys. I will see you soon. Andre Pickens signing off. Peace.